All right, so you'd like to learn a little bit more about the hand tracking and how all the gestures work and how everything works. First things first, it's a setting that's enabled by default if it's enabled in your quest. So I'm gonna place my controllers down and immediately my the switching went from the controllers to the hand tracking, so that's great. Next is if you'd like to select anything, the way to do so is by pressing your, pinching your fingers together. You're pinching your index and your thumb finger. And uh, as you can tell, there's a ray that's going from your hand, and that's how you aim to things and you select them. Very similar to a controller. So another thing to know is you can scroll. You don't have to just use the, the little scroll bar over here to scroll. So you can press and hold, press and hold, and kind of like an iPad or a tablet or a smartphone, you can scroll uh, using your hands. So that's really nice. Let's jump into a puzzle and uh, we can look at the other things that you can do. So um, if pinching is to select, it's also used to pull a piece towards you. So did you notice what I did there? I selected, I pinched on the piece and I yanked my, my hand back. I just gently pulled my finger, my hands back. So you don't, it doesn't have to be a massive motion. You don't have to like, you know, whip it back towards you. You can just do a small little boop towards uh, and it'll come right back towards you. So that's nice. You can grab pieces just by pinching as well. So that's a nice little uh, intuitive motion. Um, let's puzzle these pieces. And the other thing you should know is how do you send pieces back if it's getting too cluttered? You can double pinch on, on pieces. One, two. Here we go. One, two. All right, so now there's an advanced way. If you wanna just uh, be very specific about where you want to aim your puzzle pieces to go, you can actually do that. So let me show that again. Double pinch, pull, and you see there's a ray that comes out and the, the piece starts wiggling and it goes back, so that's nice. The other thing you should know is if you like to use locomotion, you can trigger it by going two thumbs up. Two thumbs up and there's an icon and it shows you that you can scoot around your environment, so that's nice. If you also have vertical locomotion enabled, you can go up and down, but currently, I uh, and by default, it is disabled. There's one more gesture worth mentioning, which is a way to rotate a puzzle using two hands. So now you can grab it with two hands. You can grab it first and then with your second hand and then give it a rotation. So this is a way to prevent you from needing to do a, a bunch of wrist rotations to just get a piece to turn all the way around. And in case hand tracking isn't working for you or is not switched on, or if you're switching from controllers to hand tracking isn't, isn't as fast as you want it to be, take a look at these options here. So to check if your hand tracking is enabled and or if you wanna change how fast your controller to hand tracking switches, you have to go to your settings. So to go, a quick way to access your settings is to go to this little icon here and settings, then go to movement tracking and hand tracking is already here. So uh, hand tracking should be enabled. Auto, sw auto switch from controllers to hands, that should also be enabled so that you can put your controllers down and your hand tracking will get enabled. And lastly, this is uh, this is up to your preference. If you want the, the controller sensitivity to switch immediately when you put your controllers down to your hands, you can also do that. So I'm gonna keep it on high and high means it'll switch quite quickly between controllers to hands where's the hands come on come on come on here they are yep okay cool that should be it yeah i hope you enjoy hand tracking